B95 and the airport exit. Bro, you got to slow down. <laughs> I'm surviving. My mom woke me up screaming, get up! <laughs> it was 3.50 in the morning. I'm like, why are you waking me up so early? I'm not the one that has to get ready to go anywhere. All I had to do was drop her off in DC at the airport. And I've been up ever since. It's 7.33. I'm actually packing up a return for Skims. If you guys watch my Skims review, girl, a mess. So anyway, I'm just returning it. They don't do exchanges, but I was talking to someone that worked there and they said that I could either do one of two things, keep the bodysuit and get 20% of my money back. Well, am I gonna do that? No. Or return it and they would do a full um, refund and the once I do ship it back, they said email them again and they will refund me for the shipping fee of $6. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it is Saturday, so I Googled if the office was open, the postal, and they are. They just have shorter hours. So I'm gonna drop this off after my workout um, at the USPS. But I already wanted to get my session in early today because you guys i have so much cool stuff that i want to do this weekend it's just going to be like a solo weekend lots of me time lots of good food i'm going to be cooking some fun things the lazy way and also i have work to do as well just because my week is going to be well y'all will see in the next weekly vlog but um i have to like prepare some content so yeah, packed that up to go back. Um, I need to eat a snack because I'm about to do legs and back, I think, today. I want to get a, a progress picture. I was scrolling through my camera roll earlier this morning when I was doing my to-do list. I went all the way back to like April 2020. <gasps> was it April 6th, 2020? Because if it was, that's ironic. That's the first day that I... Uh, went to the gym but I was like typing out my caption it was April 6th and April 6th of 2021 was when I first joined a gym so I was just kind of reflecting on my transformation I'm gonna do a progress photo in the gym today and then put the two pictures side by side for some fitspo on my channel or my Instagram I'm sorry you guys it's early <laughs> I'm a mess right now clearly my hair is still dripping wet I can't find anything. I've been listening to French rap music all morning. It's such a vibe. Um, I discovered a new Rude. I discovered a new artist. So I'm kind of vibing with his stuff. Um, what is his name? <clears throat> um, I have a French rap playlist. <laughs> Franglish, so like French and English, that's his name. And he has some bangers, you guys. So check that out if you guys are interested in um, French music. It's one of my favorite genres since I was in high school when I first discovered it in French class. So I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna get cute today. So we gonna glow up today and just do a lot of fun things. I'm excited to get lit tonight. And y'all gonna see what we're gonna get into for dinner. Like, I'm just excited to get my work done so we can actually start the grown and sexy. That's what I'm gonna call it, the solo grown and sexy night, okay? Ooh, I'm excited, you guys. So, let me get my life. 
like I always try to do. And um, what's that song I was listening to this morning? Hmm. It's Drake's new song. Oh, Over the Top with Smiley. This Smiley guy, I love his tone. Like, I don't know, it's just everything about his his tone. And I'm like vibing with his other music too. So it's just been a really good music day, music flow this morning. So check me out on Spotify, you guys. I got you, I got you. It's definitely raining a little bit. <laughs> out you guys I'm having such a good morning it was raining while I was at the gym so the lighting wasn't the best so I'm gonna go to the grocery store to get stuff for today to make some food and stuff like that I already have my meals planned out so make your grocery list and have a piece of paper handy so we can cook together um, I'm so excited to eat we're gonna eat really good this weekend we're gonna be having some therapeutic just for you to go some therapeutic cooking going off in the kitchen how the heck am i like surviving and i've been up since 3 40 a.m four five six seven eight nine this is a whole work day okay <laughs> bro i love this for me i'm not even gonna lie like ooh, these nails have got to go um i just dropped off that skims return that i needed to do like last week so i already placed another order oh my god <laughs> I can't be stopped I'm obsessed so really excited for that stuff you guys know I'm like building my fall wardrobe right now I think it's just great to start early so I have some fun pieces and uh, speaking of fall wardrobe I need to get my closet together so that's on my list of to do's today I made a huge list of things I need to get done not necessarily all today but before Monday okay so we're gonna be productive but we're gonna be relaxed and that's just the vibes for me so let's go to the grocery store and um hopefully i'll stick to my list i wanted to go to trader joe's since i was like in dc but it was so early they don't open till eight so that just didn't work out for me so i'm hoping i can find everything um sir what the heck y'all hear that um, I'm hoping I can find like all my herbs um, and stuff, like my fresh herbs. Just Trader just has the best deals for produce, like a dollar ninety nine. Like, talk to me nice, okay? These other markets, it's a scam. It really is a scam out here. So I just wanted to kind of um, update you dolls today. I know I haven't really been on camera. I've just been doing a little bit too much this morning, trying to get things done and just organized so i'm not going crazy but we can be productive like i had mentioned um yeah i don't need to go anywhere else i'm just trying to think because i do not want to leave the house don't need to get gas yo going to dc this morning took up all my gas um but my mom she's so cute she paypal me 20 bucks i'm like wow you know i would have done that for free <laughs> have made it home i just want to give you like a quick grocery haul of just some ingredients that i'm planning on using this 
weekend, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm going to make. Maybe you can guess in the comments. But I picked up some baguettes. Just a little French baguette. I had to read a lot of labels. I bought a lot of things today that I don't typically buy. So this one just has soy in it. I was going to get a whole baguette, but I was like, girl, do I really feel like having crumbs everywhere trying to cut it up? So I just got this one for convenience. Don't come for me. I spent $14.40 for some little shrimp. <laughs> I really don't want to mess with raw meat. You know, I'm lazy right now. So this one is just cooked in like an olive oil base and it's organic. We love that. So I'm going to make something really fun with that. I got my favorite little chicken tenders, the home style. That's going to come clutch for a recipe. I also got these tomatoes, which smell absolutely amazing. Something about getting them on the vine. It just it tastes better and it smells so potent so i love that for me and i got some red grapes to snack on these looked amazing also like just very fresh and yummy so i'll make something with those and then i also had gotten let me put you guys down for 2.5 seconds i think this will be an easier way to show you guys my little haul i got some organic bananas i put these in literally everything so that's gonna be good Donuts, vegan of course. I got a lot of vegan things. This is something that I have not tried. Let me know if you guys have had this before. It's a vegan lasagna, guys, with vegan cheese. There's no nuts in this, just soy as an allergy listed. So I thought this would be good to try something different that I've never had before. Um, I do like their vegan mac and cheese. So I figured I would like this. Um, there's no meat in this also. So just veggies like zucchini and stuff. Got a marinara sauce. I got this balsamic glaze. So I'm really excited for that recipe. I picked up just some spaghetti. I feel like you always have to have just like a spaghetti and a sauce in the pantry for those lazy nights when you just don't know what you're going to have. Garlic. Look, I got something fresh I have to chop. <laughs> Um, for my vegan cheeses, tell me why one of these was like moldy in the store and I was like very alarmed. I'm like, mm, I don't, I don't trust that. But it says it doesn't go off until 2022, which that, wow, that lasts a very long time. But this is like, um, a pepper jack style, but of course it's vegan and this is the Dea brand. I feel like this has like a lot of flavor. I haven't tried this one by the way, but the pepper jack vegan cheeses tend to have more flavor than the cheddars, which honestly they all taste like nothing. So I figured this would be a good option to try. And then I also had picked up this Violife, which I don't typically buy this brand they tend to do a lot of vegan alternatives with cashew and i have a nut allergy so this one i believe is coconut yeah this one has coconut oil and potato and rice starch i know it does not sound appetizing but we're gonna try this out i've never had this before and it's a parmesan block so i figured for some pasta dishes we will try to see if this tastes better than those um already grated up you know vegan alternatives I also had picked up some crackers. I had a hard time finding some that didn't have any dairy in them. Um, this one is a wheat cracker. And then I love these water crackers. So I just got those. I mean, it's just me. I don't need to go crazy over here. Um, I got some butter lettuce, one of my favorites. Some basil, which smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Kind of smells like Schweed. <laughs> oh, I miss that smell. <laughs> so we're going to cook with that. I also got some prosciutto. Am I saying that correct? I've never had this before. It's a ham. So I know it's on the salty side, I'm sure. And then I got some salami uncured. So that'll be fun. And then I just got some stuff for meal prep. Yes, I paid $16 for four chicken breasts. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, but I'll be making my rice bowls and stuff with that. So that is my haul. <laughs> That's about it, you guys. That's what I picked up. And I spent $150. Yeah, that's why I'll shop at the freaking Wegmans because they stay taking my money. These are also like $5 each, $4.99. So I don't think that's too bad. I've seen them priced even more at some places. So I'm going to go shower and put all this stuff away. And I'll be back and we're going to make some food, you guys. So get ready. This lighting, I'm sorry, guys. 
just a mess today. So I'm midway through my makeup and I actually am using this new foundation shade. This is the shade Aruba and it's the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. Absolutely love this. I don't wear makeup enough for me to like, I don't know, wear foundation every single day, which is exactly why I need to get a new color because I was so tan and I was using my regular shade. This is in Stromboli when I'm not tan. And by the way, these are both olive undertones. So this one is, I believe like two shades darker and I think it's a good match. I think you can tell how uh, pasty I was walking around versus my summer glow. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a good match when I complete the rest of my makeup. And as my tan will fade, I think I'll be able to like mix these two together to get like the perfect color when I go back to my winter non-tan shade. So if you're looking for a new foundation, you guys, I freaking love this stuff. It's so good. I was previously using, oh my God, this is so light. <laughs> This one is just the sheer glow. I love this formula too, but I think this one is so much better. Like, I don't know, if you if you like um, more coverage, I would say, and it is long wear. I do get a little bit oily you know, throughout the day, but that's nothing that you can't blot off. So I'm just kind of getting cute. I washed my curls and moisturized them. They were super sweaty from the gym. And I actually did a side part and just slicked it back into like a bun. Don't come for my bun, okay? <laughs> um, but I think it's cute. Instead of just brushing it all back, adding a little side part. <laughs> but anywho, I'm just gonna finish up my makeup and I'll let you guys know how I like the new shade that I had picked up. See, I actually have a highlight now. Before, my foundation was the same color as my highlight. And boom, that's the makeup, you guys. Super natural, glowy. I think this color is definitely it for your girl. I was out here struggling, but that was okay. My offense, I don't really wear makeup that much, so I didn't really notice until the last time that I put it on, and I was like looking like Casper. So I worked up quite an appetite. I set the oven to preheat while I did my makeup and everything, so let's go downstairs and make brunch. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but something just sounds so good about lounging in the house. Got my cute little skims on with some champagne and a good meal and turning on Real Housewives of Potomac. That's what I'm going to do today. Like, <laughs> scratch everything else, okay? Look, that 3 o'clock wake up call is getting to me now. So I just want to like chill and relax a bit. Might take like an Instagram photo because I'm kind of feeling this look for me. Looking like an egghead, but that's okay. I love that for me. Oven is on for 25. Basically, what I wanted to do was a spin off of chicken and waffles. And if you thought this was gonna be a cooking video where I was gonna be dipping and frying some chicken, you must be on the wrong YouTube because we don't do that. This is the lazy way, the lazy girl way to simplify our life. Because when I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I don't have time to be getting all these ingredients and trying to figure out how to make it dairy free. So, spare me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna line a pan. So you guessed it, I don't have to clean it up. <laughs> Look, I'm teaching you my ways to make life so much easier. Oh, I like to actually spray my uh, foil just because whenever I make I'm gonna use these by the way that I just got from the market. Whenever I make these in the oven, it says to cook them for 18 minutes. I like to cook them a little bit longer because I like them to be really crispy and have a nice bite to them. They don't get like that crisp, crispy, <laughs> crispy feel. So I just use a little bit of this avocado spray. It's zero calorie for a third of a second. I don't even know, a third of a second? What does that even mean? Who's sitting there counting that? I don't know, but I lightly dust the foil show you guys so one while it's baking the bottom will get crispy and then I'll turn it over halfway through and then the other side will also get crispy so this is my favorite thing I eat all of these they say this is two and a half servings it's not I'll eat the whole thing okay 
So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And while these are cooking, we're gonna get some champagne popping. Okay. Cause these are gonna take a little bit to cook. And I just realized there's a new Love Island, so that's what I'm gonna be watching while I eat this meal. So I laid them out in an even layer and I'm just gonna dust the tops with some oil also so that that side will crisp up. So I'm gonna throw this in right now for 10 minutes. And set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. And then when that's done, I will flip them over. Also, I usually make these French toast sticks. I do have waffles that are gluten and dairy free, but you know, they might be freezer burned, so that's questionable. So I'm gonna go for this because it's just, I don't know, it just sounds really good. So this brand does dairy free French toast. You can make French toast so easily at home. I actually don't have eggs. And also I'm just not trying to do all that. <laughs> that so I'm probably gonna do like six pieces um, of these and I want to see if I can put them in the oven so they get crispy because sometimes they'll get a little bit soggy like I'm trying to put a little bit of effort in but not trying to do too much so I don't mind putting these in the oven so this says to bake at 450 for about 15 minutes pop champagne yes I have been waiting when did I get this? Yesterday? I've been waiting a whole day to try it out. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know if my mom has champagne glasses, but we'll have to see. We will have to see. She does not. Should I put it in a martini glass? Because we don't have champagne glasses. I'm going to rinse this out, actually, real quick. And if I have too much before I eat, y'all, I'm gonna be litty off of two sips. But I'm so excited. I definitely wanna get a cute pic of this before I open it because I'm really excited to try this. Um, by the way, I got this one at Target and I'm excited to see if it's dry or not. I prefer dry white wines and um, dry champagne. I'm not a sweet person. I find it gives me more of a headache the next day. Uh, but this is black owned and women owned and they also do rosé and then I have a red in the fridge which I'll probably try out tomorrow um, or maybe tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me stop. Look, don't come for me. This weekend I'm doing whatever I want. So I'm really excited to try this one out. And recently I just feel like I have become a champagne person. I used to be a beer drinker. Never really was one for shots. Like. I don't know like I just feel like I like the beer because it was kind of bubbly and now champagne is just a classier version of that and it doesn't have all the gluten and all that stuff so um let me see if we can get this wire off of here guys I have not opened a bottle of champagne since maybe my birthday in 2019 <laughs> So cheers to the weekend, cheers to leveling up and um, just being a better version of ourselves, you know, and celebrating ourselves and um, being there, knowing how much we've gone through because no one really knows our true story in life, right, unless they've walked our shoes. So I just want you guys to pat yourselves on the back and just remember how strong you guys are and how much you've gone through and... The fact that you even got through a terrible situation and in that moment you might have thought like how am I gonna get through it so just celebrate yourselves you guys that's just what I'm choosing to I'm scared <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm new here <laughs> yes uh, it smells so good wait let your girl soak in this $30 bottle <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm literally that person that's like, oh, let's get the cheapest one. <laughs> but I'm trying to level up my life. And I'm not mad at this martini glass, okay? This might be a cute pick. I just feel like it might look weird because it's not the proper 
glassware, but who's checking for me? Okay, so the timer went off. These were in there for 20 minutes. And you guys, I was so distracted trying to get some pictures um, <laughs> that I wasn't vlogging. So I'm about to throw these in. I'm just waiting for it to preheat. Actually, did I turn it on? To 450. I think. So I'm going to let that get hot. Cook this for 15 minutes. And then I'll probably throw these in the last three minutes so they can get crispy and warm and that'll be it get some maple syrup and oh i had like y'all this is so ghetto yes behind the scenes i had you guys propped up like this trying to take some photos that's also how i vlog you know you just gotta get the height right <laughs> leave me alone also this is on my amazon store my mom and i love these we have several around the house um, this is how I watch shows on my iPhone actually when I eat in the kitchen and stuff But also I put the vlogging camera here all the time because you can kind of adjust the angles But if you're going live on Instagram, this is great if you're doing your makeup at your vanity You can also feed your charging cord through the back So it stays charged while you are watching whatever shows you are or you could use this as a charging stand as well That was quick. So definitely recommend getting that mine is pink that I have so yeah 15 minutes those will go in and i'll see you guys in 15. okay i'm a little bit buzzed and i've had like a few sips and i'm not even kidding so i just tried to take a few photos just for my instagram you know do my makeup why not try and get some content i threw the chicken tenders in with the french toast i did flip them over midway through this let me give you guys an update this is so nice i definitely would see myself making this like my regular schmegular go-to brand as far as like the champagne it's not like i have a favorite champagne but honestly it's the label it's the black women supporting black women for me it's the women-owned business for me it's the packaging for me and the aesthetics so the label of this says that our delicious black girl magic sparkling brute showcase I'm lit. <laughs> Showcases the best California has to offer. We selected the finest blend of grapes and harvest them early to maximize flavors of crisp green apple, juicy pear, melon, and citrus zest. The secondary fermentation creates refined bubbles as well as a light floral note. I don't really get the floral, but I definitely get the pear and the apple, the green apple for sure. And I don't think it's sweet. Like this is really good for me. And it says that the result is fresh, elegant, and sophisticated. Wine like you. It's the label description for me. So I highly recommend that you guys pick this up. Again, I got mine from Target. Um, I couldn't find this one at Wegmans. My Wegmans only sold the red wine. So I'm excited to try that one out to see because I'm a red wine lover. I just love wine. So I feel like that one will be really good. My timer just went off, but it didn't beep. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna pull this out of the oven. It smells good. Ooh. We got the crispiness. Y'all hear the sizzle? Yeah, I'm about to eat all of this. Mind your business. <laughs> it's my brunch vibes. So let me set this down. I don't have a, um, I really don't know where anything is in this kitchen. But I feel like it's time for a refill. <laughs> this glass though is making me nervous because it's so wide. I feel like I'm gonna like trip on something and then spill it everywhere. So don't mind me at all. Oh, these freaking boxers ride up on me. Anyone else? I just need to know. Mm. <laughs> Leave me alone, my business. Is this too many chickens? It just needs to give. There. There we go. I mean, I'm gonna eat the other two. But I just need it to look presentable. If you guys are eating Aunt Jemima, stop it. Just stop. That's disgusting. It's all sugar and processed. This is organic Vermont maple syrup. They do a really good selection, actually, at Trader Joe's. The only thing in here is organic maple syrup. Okay. So this actually I consider to be a healthy um, sweetener, similar to like a honey or something. So I'm just going to drizzle that on. 
Yo, my stomach is like, bitch, I'm hungry. Feed me. Take a quick pic for the gram. Or I mean, not the gram, for the um, thumbnail. In my mind, you know, with the waffles, it would have looked better. Um, Roscoe's has nothing on me. <laughs> I already know it's gonna slap though. I like sweet and savory combo together So that's just like my favorite way to like combine food and then with this bubbly Y'all this bottle is gonna be gone In like a few hours, so I'm gonna go watch, you know Love Island Cheer on my boo will it is 434 how am I still surviving right now? I don't know. I am so tired. And the last thing I want to do is go take a shower and wash my makeup off. But I promised myself I would make dinner. Well, I'm actually going to do an appetizer. This is how much I've had of this champagne. By the way, really delicious. I would definitely rebuy that again. So what I wanted to make was a bruschetta. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's a proper um, Italian dish. So I went to the market obviously earlier, showed you guys what I got. And uh, we're gonna use these like French baguettes. This isn't like a proper traditional recipe because I don't eat dairy and I'm not gonna use that vegan Parmesan. I'm just gonna use it for something else tomorrow. Um, so I'm not gonna add any like cheese or anything, but I love like fresh ingredients. And this basil, like I've been waiting all day to make something with this. I can't wait to do pasta with this basil as well it just adds such a good taste there's actually dirt in here too so it's like super fresh i have garlic here i have my tomatoes on the vine the only olive oil i have which i thought i had olive oil i don't um i have like this french blend with some herbs so again not traditional recipe just a little spin on it um again welcome kayla's strong kitchen <laughs> I'm definitely not all the way here um but we're gonna have to use this because you know sometimes you just have to use what you have i have that balsamic glaze some sea salt and then black pepper i think for the most part that's everything my oven is preheating right now to 400 so while that's heating up i'm going to dice up these tomatoes you can use like roma tomatoes i think that's what most recipes call for it just smelled so good. So I'm gonna rinse these off and um, oh, I have a baking pan lined. I don't have parchment paper, just foil. So if you have parchment paper, grab some of that. I'm trying to think what else you need for this. It's pretty much it. It's just like a little appetizer. Definitely recommend getting like a whole baguette, but I'm lazy, so I got mine already pre-chopped into slices. And the only reason why I would say get a whole baguette is because you can kind of cut it in a diagonal which i would prefer it actually makes the slices a little bit bigger but it's still gonna taste the same so yeah prep your stuff you guys now fresh basil is like really delicate i already rinsed mine off so i'm gonna leave it to dry here on this towel i hope that's enough look i like a lot of flavor i have no business <laughs> being in the kitchen at least not while I'm lady. garlic clove right here it actually came out crushed try not to crush it it'll make it easier to kind of spread the juices on each baguette this is just going to kind of release that delicious flavor and it's going to taste so good 
and i don't want to have big pieces on this because i'm going to toast it in the oven and i don't want my garlic to burn so just kind of take the chunk and scrape it on the baguette i know it's like very weird but this is what they did on a food network show probably rachel ray she taught me this And it's gonna have some nice flavor. I might have to get an extra plate. Oh my god, I'm looking at this camera angle and I'm just embarrassed for you guys that you have to watch it. That's such a bad quality. Yeah, this is what you want. Don't crush it how I did the first time. So it's whole, like the whole bulb. And then cut off a flat end. There we go, that's what we want. So we can just spread that garlic goodness. Garlic is very pungent. So if you like garlic like me, you're gonna love how this tastes on your baguette. This will just have an extra flavor to it. To Italy okay I'm really excited about this perfectly toasted not overdone I don't like super crunchy like crouton texture you know why because the roof of my mouth could never so I left it in I don't even know I didn't time it but as long as it took me to chop up the tomatoes and all the other ingredients so maybe like five minutes five to eight minutes and then I topped it off with this balsamic glaze I love a balsamic glaze it's very thick kind of sweet but you get that acidity as well and tomatoes it's just very fresh with the basil and i'm proud of myself you know what i'm trying to level up my life in the sense of preparing and cooking more yes it's nice to be lazy but i miss being in the kitchen and trying new things and especially like fresh ingredients that are really simple to kind of put together and it's just very therapeutic i really enjoyed just listening to my french wrap and um making this little appetizer for myself and I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, wipe me up. So I wanna take a picture of this and then I'm going to try it for you guys. But I just kinda plated it on like a cutting board to make it look kinda rustic. I felt like with the baguette, it's giving very rustic vibes, right? Perfect for summer. You could definitely do this before like a pasta dinner. Have like some cocktails with your friends, some wine, whatever you want. This is nice. Yes, this is just me. I'm going to eat all of this, but it's mostly, you know, veggies. <laughs> A lot of garlic. A lot of garlic. So let's try it out and see if it's as good as it looks. Cheers. Mmm. Wow wow it's like the flavors hit you at different times very messy to eat very crunchy did you hear that mm. Mm -hmm. maybe a little more salt And I tried to drain out the juice from the tomatoes just because I didn't want it to get soggy. But I already know there's going to be lots of flavor in that bowl as it marinates. And the balsamic, like everything is just so good. The basil, the fresh garlic, the baguette, like everything is just so good. Mm. I love tomatoes, like I really do. I guess if you don't like tomatoes, I feel bad for you. 
but definitely recommend trying this little dish out you can impress some people with this okay happy sunday <laughs> tell me how it's almost noon i've just been in the bed honestly it was that champagne from yesterday i didn't even go to the gym <sighs> lord help me i have like a little bit of a headache so i'm not that upset but i have got to do a lot of organizing you guys i told myself that i would tackle this freaking closet this weekend i'm so embarrassed to even open it up and show you guys where i'm starting at and i already know that i have some clothes coming in the mail that i've ordered so there's nowhere to put it and i do want it to like look cute so when i open up the closet i'm like oh i want to wear this and that today versus the hot mess that you guys were about to witness in this video i'm going to speed it up and put some fun music behind it um don't judge me too much you guys like i literally just have a bunch of workout clothes and honestly a lot of um summer stuff and honestly i don't like summer fashion i just don't so fall and winter is just my forte so i feel like i'm gonna have to purge a little bit of the things that i do have in here and i want to reorganize oh my god this is so embarrassing reor oh my god i'm not really about to show you guys this f it Straight up a mess and this is my second coffee today so pray for me but <laughs> it's this bucket up here that's just really just mm, irking my nerves and all of these things that are hanging up were basically clothing items that i wore on my new york trip and they're not really everyday pieces for me so i kind of want to put them in a drawer somewhere and then hang up all of my skims because that's like the neutral tones the everyday essentials that I feel need to be hung up in this itty bitty space that I do have. So that's what my Sunday fun day is consisting of. This drawer is dingy loungewear that I need to purge. Again, I've replaced a lot of my essentials with skims, um, having an order on the way as I speak. So a lot of this stuff, like, it's just, it's gotta go. It's just got to go. And this needs to be organized and this shelf needs to be better organized this is like um honestly just a mess so yeah all this is like workout leggings like there is some rhyme and reason i promise it's just kind of chaotic when i open up my wardrobe i mean this is embarrassing <laughs> so yeah it's really just stuff on top of stuff at this point. So this I know is already organized. It's all of my Alphalete Amplify leggings that are clean. That's all I literally wear. I have every freaking color for the most part. So that and then like sports bras. Whoop whoop. This needs to be organized as well. These are all of my sports bras tops they just don't fit and i just need a better place to put them all of this is my skims that i want to hang up denim half of these don't fit so i want to pull the ones out that i want to get altered and then make a day appointment to do that and just a bunch of like bulky sweats in the back there as well also more sweats and these are like makeup products and these are all my bags and swimwear in that target bag and it's just need to look a lot better than this <laughs> when i am done so hopefully i'll make some good progress going off but yeah this is just a lot of summery um corset like crappie style tops this i don't even want this what is mm -mm, baby you got to go so yeah we're gonna be doing some purging and some organizing and some cleaning today <laughs>
Okay, so let me see. I have been at it for almost an hour now and my way of organization is pulling everything out. I know it makes it seem like you have way more work than what you thought, but you have to do that in order to know and understand what you have and what kind of organization you want to do. So already it looks so much better. I actually have two empty dresser drawers here. One is gonna be for loungewear, and then the other drawer is gonna be for like going out tops, which I really only wear crop tops, like corset tops. I have a ton of those, as you probably saw sped up. And like cute palm bottoms. I'm sorry, I'm like stumbling over my words. Anything that's not a denim. So what I have going on, this is just small space organization. Um, still a work in progress. All of my bulky stuff, you guys, I just thought it would make more sense to fold it and put it at the top and stack everything up. So I have some sets here. These are all like sweatshirts, hoodies, and then these are like gym tops um, and sweats that I'll wear. All my denim is over here stacked up, which is nice. This is all my skim stuff that I didn't want to hang up, like the long sleeves. It's such delicate fabric. I might not even hang them up to begin with just because I don't want to stretch them out the sleeveless ones that's fine but everything else like the short sleeves and stuff I would rather just put in a drawer so this one is going to be dedicated to my loungewear slash sleepwear so I have bottoms which I'm going to put away I know a mess <laughs> that is my room and I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff you guys I told myself I could only keep a few t-shirts so I salvaged the ones that were not super dingy I do like to do my makeup in these and just like lounge in but I'm really trying to level up and look cute at home I work from home I'm filming at home all the time you know so I want to get myself together so these are all my cute sets that I have and honestly I forgot about them because they were just at the bottom of the drawer and I want to wash all this stuff and kind of refresh fresh it so I have like super cute lounge tops from lounge um all these are pretty much lounge this I haven't worn in so long bow and tee love their stuff as well such great quality I mean it's a little too hot to be wearing all this stuff right now so that's fine but it'll be ready for me for fall um and then same with these sets here this is like a cute pair of like satin pajamas it's like a cute set and that's like the vibe I want to go down not these like t-shirts and stuff which is again where I'm trying to level up my life um and just get more quality and I've noticed that I like more neutral tones and like muted out color like this. One thing I've also noticed as I'm going through and purging and getting rid of stuff and organizing, I just naturally go towards those muted out tones if it's going to be a color, but also just neutrals, you know, like the beiges, the nudes, the blacks, the grays, the whites, the creams. Like that's kind of where I want my wardrobe to go towards, just more basic and essential pieces, getting rid of all the trendy stuff, getting rid of all the crazy prints. The crazy loud colors like I don't know like I'm just kind of over it now and I think this is gonna be a new new look for your girl it's gonna make my wardrobe a lot more versatile I think as well and aesthetically speaking it's gonna look better you know just seeing everything as a whole so I'm just really excited about the organization and the revamp of my wardrobe and just starting now so I can get excited about getting new things and figuring out what other items I need to purchase for the upcoming seasons so hopefully I'll be done with in the next hour I have a whole pile of stuff on the floor that stuff has got to go so I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff that again is super dingy things that don't make me happy to look at them and everything else I have a few things though that I need to try on because I don't want to put stuff in my closet that doesn't fit me how I want it to or again things that just don't make me smile and think oh my gosh I'm gonna wear this with that you know what I mean so just getting rid of the stuff that doesn't make me happy also I have a Poshmark so if you guys want to shop my wardrobe and see what items I have listed <laughs> sorry about my dog definitely check that out in the description box below and if you're new to Poshmark you can sign up with my code Kayla underscore Lachey underscore and save ten dollars so use that for sure if you're going to order um, so check it out. I have lots of denim. If you are a size 6 US, go check out my store or a size 4. There's a lot of size 4. So mostly if you're a size 4, <laughs> go check out my denim. So I'm going to finish this up and hopefully check with you guys later. Oh, in this bin, I organized my bags a lot better. So it's not just a big mess of stuff piled high.
does cleaning take all my energy out of me i have been at it for 30 hours i remember starting at 12 oh two and it's 305 and I just finished washing my makeup brushes and I actually like to use this is almost out by the way I don't use this on my face anymore I found that it was a little bit too harsh for me and it was breaking me out so I realized this was really good to clean my makeup brushes and my beauty blender it does have tea tree oil which I think is actually really good because it kills bacteria so for the fibers and stuff I think it's phenomenal but it's still gentle and it removes like liquid concealers and foundation and like um these were super like dirty before but it just gets everything out of it sorry uh-uh mm-mm not up in here sir oh God. you don't see him up on the window I need to make food. I'm so hungry and I borderline still have a headache from that champagne from yesterday. So I don't know if I want to like shower and change into like my chill clothes because I'm burning up in this outfit or if I just want to make dinner and all that stuff. I wanted to have that red wine tonight, but guys, that's a little too much alcohol for me. I might have to have that tomorrow. Because I wanted to make a charcuterie. But I don't even know if I feel like eating all of that right now, to be honest. So, I don't know. I'm going to figure out dinner and stuff. Well, it's only 3 o'clock, but y'all know I go to bed early. I have um, meal prep, but I don't know if I want to do something different. I don't know. But, um, yeah, anyway, today has just been cleaning and organizing and you know just getting her getting ourselves together you can't be cute with dirty makeup brushes can give you acne first of all so how you gonna level up with that <laughs> so I recommend washing your brushes once a week I mean I don't really wear makeup that often um, but even then I shouldn't have product just sitting on my brushes for two weeks three weeks this still has soap on it mm -hmm. so yeah just trying to have a fresh start for this week ahead and this is just stuff that I like to do on my Sundays to kind of prepare and I feel really good like not only did I organize my closet but I did my nightstand and then my bookshelf like I dusted I wiped everything down on the glass like I just I'm feeling really good feeling really great why does it still have soap on it <laughs> Ooh, it's hot hot alright you guys I'm about to eat this and um, oh my god get my life together this is just a simple dinner I eat this all the time not even dinner late lunch it's 3 30 right now and I have an Olipop right here so I'm gonna watch some YouTube and that's pretty much it you guys i have to be up early because i have an appointment in the morning so i wanted to close out this video so i could start a whole nother week in my life vlog and take you guys throughout that because that's gonna be crazy <laughs> i'm excited though i'm gonna get a chemical peel so um, i'm interested to see what my results will be like and the process this is really hot you guys what i like to add to my rice bowls specifically chicken is honey i know i'm such a sweet and savory person as you guys saw earlier in the weekend uh like this morning i had french toast and bacon and it was just like giving me everything i needed you know what i'm saying like it just it was hitting so hard so honey on my chicken with my rice and i have a lot of green beans it's just so good amazing so i highly recommend you guys try that out or maple syrup might be good too I don't really know but i love you guys thank you for spending the weekend with me and getting ourselves you know organized leveled up a little bit we were cooking in the kitchen getting some fun content for instagram trying out some new champagne and you know quality over quantity i feel like i mentioned that earlier in the weekend as well like i'm just trying to get rid of things that aren't as nice and replace them with things that are just better um, mostly for my wardrobe and even like the alcohol beverages I choose to drink like it's okay to spend $30 on a bottle you know like it's okay like I'm just trying to just be I don't know 
that girl you know what i'm saying i deserve it at the end of the day so i love you guys i'm just rambling on and on but i hope that you guys had a good weekend comment down below and let me know what you guys were up to this weekend and what shows you guys are binging i am just living my best life right now as you guys know with real housewives and love island so that has been keeping your girl pretty preoccupied and very entertained so that's just where i've been when i've not been here on the vlog so let me know what you guys are watching so i can add that to my list of things to check out so see you guys soon bye